Today's show is about car dealers who do not charge huge MSRP markets. Hi, I'm Kevin Hunter, the homework guy, here today with the amazing Elizabeth. You might ask why we'd publish a video about MSRP prices at car dealers when not long ago, like two years ago, it was dealer invoice, less holdback, and other discounts. Well, we're in the midst of a car shortage, and most dealers are swindling their customers with huge markups. We'll share a few of those examples at the end. Meanwhile, let's point out some of the dealers around the country who are reportedly not gouging their customers. Liz, take it away. Okay, first up, David Shepard writes, Dowling Toyota in Litchfield, Connecticut doesn't charge a penny over MSRP and no dock fees either. Plus, their staff are great people. And Lulu America reports, Spangler Subaru, Pennsylvania, no dealership markups, no pressure to buy additional warranties or service contracts and they do not have a large inventory of either new or used, but they still do not charge markups on vehicles. Great. Walt Strait says, Cascanet Ford in Carthage, New York. No markup on my 2022 Ford. Great sales staff, Michael Cummings, and great service after the sale. Mickey D writes, I bought two Lexus UX200s from Lexus of Carlsbad in Southern California on Friday. No markup, but they did have some additional dealer added packages. However, they dropped those after a bit of negotiation and I paid sticker for both cars. They got me 2.49% financing for 72 months. And the only thing I bought in the finance office was a eight year 75,000 mile warranty for $2,425 on each car. Ask for Courtney Garner, she hooked us up. So if you go to this dealer, be prepared to hear some pitches for add-ons, just say no. At least they actually took them off, you know? Yeah. John JT writes, Van Horn Hyundai of Sheboygan. Great prices and good experience all around. Can't recommend them enough. Even drove 200 miles to get a car with them. Highly recommended. Located at 5525 Racetrack Road, Sheboygan, Wisconsin. Timothy Lee writes, just bought a new Lexus RX350L from Lexus of Route 10. Sticker price and no obligation to purchase anything else. Was in and out the door within the hour after vehicle inspection and usage tutorial from their technician. Even the finance manager was great. Hallelujah. <laughs> <laughs> Left with the promised interest rate and price. The sales rep was Chris Lorenzi. Was a pleasure to work with. S. Hunt says Audi Chantilly in Northern Virginia was great to work with. Straightforward and no market value adjustments. Way to go, Chantilly. Jim Steve says Duval Ford of Jacksonville, Florida. Very transparent about everything. No markup over MSRP on any new vehicles. No pressure on any extended warranty, paint protection, or anything like that. And once we agreed on the trade, we were in and out. Not an all-day ordeal buying a car like it quite often is. Blank Tempe says, Palm Springs Hyundai is also amazing. They were so helpful, I legitimately thought I was being scammed. <laughs> no pressure in finance at all. They beat what my own bank offered at 1.2%. They don't mark up over MSRP, no BS dealer add-ons, and they gave me more than fair pricing on my trade-in. Kihan Nam writes, I just bought a car at Invergrove Toyota in Minnesota. I've actually been to that dealership mm -hmm. and had a fantastic experience no markup or any upscale pitches. I was able to test drive even in this market and the salesperson was not pushy at all. I went in with a high guard alert but came out with a surprisingly good experience, got exactly what I wanted and was in and out of there in two hours. Nice. Jojo Smith says, I can also vouch for a local dealer in Hawaii. Servco Toyota has no further markups over the MSRP and I believe they are the only ones in Hawaii. Tom old guy, I wonder if Tom is an old guy. <laughs> looking for a Ford Edge or Escape and stopped by Morristown Ford in Morristown, Tennessee. While talking to the salesman, I asked him what their markup was over MSRP. He told me they only sell at MSRP. They had to call EMTs to revive me. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Unlike the Hyundai dealer down the road who had a $8,000 markup on a Tucson I wanted. Wow. Just goes to show you walk away no matter how much you want the car. Unfortunately, the Ford dealer did not have what I wanted in stock, but if I go with a Ford, guess where I'm going to go buy it? But I really prefer the Hyundai Tucson Limited Hybrid. I have located several online and will be calling those dealers, if any, who don't mark up or at least within reason. Good advice, Tom. If the dealer says they have a great big markup, just get up and walk away. Ghosting writes, Long Lewis Ford in Hoover, Alabama sells at MSRB or below. No dock fee, excellent to deal with, no pressure to buy. Long Lewis shows respect to their customers. I bought a Ford Ranger from them a few weeks ago under MSRP and the experience was great. I highly recommend the dealership for sales and service. Sales consultant J.R. Reynolds and the sales manager Paul Fleming were fantastic to deal with. Good. 
And of course, there is Miles Brandon from Capistrano Volkswagen and Mazda in San Juan, California. We recently did an endorsement video on. By the way, Miles called me that, that weekend after we aired that show, too. I want to share a comment from Tim L., who happens to live nearby Capistrano. I probably know better than others what a wonderful dealership Capistrano Volkswagen Mazda is because I have bought three cars in the last year from Miles Brandon's dealership. Right. What car shortage, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> I've gotten to know Miles over the years as I own a coffee shop in town, Miles frequents, and I can tell you, you will not meet a more genuine, honest, caring, loving human being that happens to also sell cars. Proof, guys, that there's some good people in the car business. Right. I'm honored to call Miles friend and would go to bat for this guy just like he does for his customers and employees daily. Keep up the good work, Elizabeth and Kevin, and continued prayers for your recovery. Well, thanks for your comments. Awesome. You might ask, why would we publish a video about dealers not marking their cars up over MSRP when not long ago we were talking about dealer discounts, invoice prices, and holdback savings? Because we're in the midst of a car shortage and it can get really ugly out there as illustrated by this comment from David Mount. Stay away from Roundtree Ford and also Chevy, different lots located in Lake City, Florida. Everything to a mandatory package of fluff like paint protection for over $5,000. They also had a $5,000 market adjustment. Of Lots of greed in Florida dealers. Oh my goodness. Of course, didn't get to other areas of issue like the finance office. Crazy. It uh, was so bad from the beginning, David never stuck around to see how much worse it could get in finance. Yeah. I'm sure it was going to get a whole lot worse <laughs> in finance. So smooth move getting out of there, David. And here, Frank Robinson, Sun Toyota in Holiday, Florida, north of Clearwater, has on their new car window stickers, $5,000 market adjustment. Won't buy there. At least it's on the sticker so you can walk away like right away. Yes. And then John Gallagher writes, I have been looking at mid-sized trucks here in my area. I have not found a dealer within 75 miles without the market adjustment theft. <laughs> the local Nissan dealer, 5000 over MSRP on a Frontier. I will remember them for a long time, but not in a favorable way. That's exactly what we're talking about, people. Write these bad dealers down on the bad list. Don't forget about the dealers that tried to swindle their customers during this time. Remember them for the greedy crooks they are. Jerry Long blisters the dealers in Lima, Ohio. Ooh. I can tell you most every dealer out here in Lima, Ohio is a gouger, MSRP+. Plus. Worst of the bunch is Tom All Buick GMC. They used to be a good dealer to buy from, not anymore was in the market for a pickup and have never been treated this bad even by the X. <laughs> for a new Sierra half-ton pickup, nothing fancy. They wanted $3,000 over the MSRP and had BS add-ons that they would not remove. Sales manager said he didn't care if I bought it or not, said someone else would, some fool. I told him that's fine, someone else will be along someday. Decided to buy a beater with a heater for $4,000 <laughs> off Craigslist. Good enough for now. Good job, Jerry. Way to go, Jerry. It even gets worse, though. Roger M. says, I just walked out of a dealership here in Beaumont, Texas, Kinsel Lincoln, after talking about an aviator purchase. His markup from MSRP sticker price was over $13,000, and my trading value for a 2018 Continental was offered at $5,000, below the lowest Bluebook value. Yikes. So the price of their car way up here, and the traded value way down here. Yeah. This dealership has a bad reputation in our area. I will never set foot in there again. Greedy, greedy, greedy. Thank you very much for all your advice and information that helped me to just walk away. I appreciate you very much. Oh. Walking away, that's the power move. Yeah. Well, that's a wrap on our show for today. Let us know about good dealers in your area, if you, if you know of them. Mm -hmm. We'll be happy to publish a follow-up video with more good dealers to consider. I want to take a moment to express my appreciation to those of you who have donated or asked how you can contribute to my medical expenses you are much appreciated. And last time, Kevin, you mentioned hyperbaric chamber therapy. We, uh, we got a few questions about what that is from our viewers. Can you explain that for us? Well, hyperbaric uh, chamber therapy is essentially referred to as a dive. Yeah. You go down like the equivalent of 30 to 40 feet, and it reduces the oxygen molecule to a very small uh, particle, and it enters your body very quickly and, you know, the cells throughout the body. It motivates uh, stem cells that are unassigned in the body to uh, help heal injured areas. And it also uh, produces a growth of capillary vessels in, in the oh. body, which um, improves circulation. So it's a, it's a win all the way around. And, you know, besides lung-related issues, which, you know, I'm still on oxygen, 
I, I'm still dealing with effects of having had a stroke while I was in the hospital too, uh, due to a blood clot. So anyway, getting the function of my hands back, I'd love to point at you guys <laughs> at the end of the video. My hands don't entirely open because of the stroke. So anyway, the hyperbaric th uh, therapy is uh, helping with all of that. Great. It's, it, it runs 330 bucks a week, but worth every penny of it. Unfortunately, not covered by insurance though. Probably because it works, huh? Yeah. If you'd like to donate towards Kevin's medical expenses for your convenience, our staff has put the PayPal and Cash App links in the description box below. And right now, 100% of these donations from the viewers are going directly to Kevin's ongoing medical expense and recovery. And much appreciated from yeah. all of you who have, who have donated. All right, if you appreciate our video today, consider giving us a great big thumbs up. And please always remember to comment on our videos and share them with family and friends. Comments really matter because they help boost our online visibility and lead others to great Homework Guy content. The entire Homework Guy team is here to represent you, the car buyer, and that's what we love to do. Thanks, everyone, for coming back. We'll see you on our next video. You guys rock. <laughs> I'm Kevin Hunter, the Homework Guy, with the amazing Elizabeth, the Homework Gal. We, we gotta, gotta go. go.